Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title, today we are doing a full face of Marc Jacobs and I just hauled, it should be the video up right before this, and if I remember I will link it up there. I just hauled a few things from his new line and I think it's called the Extravagance line. It's this um, gold and black striped packaging. It's super, super stunning. What else do I have? Like it's just, oh my God, such pretty packaging. And every time I sit down to do like a full face of something, I put all of the products like in front of me and all of the packaging always just looks so like beautiful together, I guess just cause it's the whole brand and like you can, they obviously have a vibe and like any special edition or limited edition stuff just kind of like sticks out. So everything just looks really pretty, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the, this little mini that I have. It is the Undercover Coconut Perfecting Primer. I'm pretty sure this is just supposed to be like moisturizing. I don't think it has any like pore filling properties or anything. Also, if you would just want to see like the eye palette and the eye stuff, since basically the whole like stuff from the collection I have is the eye palette, the liner, and the mascara, I will put a timestamp down here so you can skip ahead. But next, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Shameless, Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. And I wore this last year a little bit. I don't really remember much about it for some reason. I feel like I've gone through like just trying so many foundations. I, I don't even know what I like and what I don't like anymore. <laughs> like in my own collection, it's not good. Thank God that air turned off. It happens every single time I try to start filming something. I, I don't really remember like the coverage on this foundation either. <laughs> I'm not super like sold on this color. I'm not sure what exactly I was thinking, but it's gonna have to work for now. So for concealer and contour, I have the Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna stop saying Marc Jacobs because everything is Marc Jacobs. The Accomplice Concealer and I have Fair 16 and then I have Tan 49. These are so tiny down here. I'm gonna start by trying to do a tiny bit of like a cream contour kind of thing. I can't remember who I saw use this, but I feel like it looked so good, but we will have to see. I don't think I ever really tried it out, honestly. <laughs> that actually just blended out so easy. That was like, wow, I'm not gonna use any more, but I think I could use more next time. I actually really like the look of that. So for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna take this one and I kind of just wanna like warm it up with my finger a little bit and get some product on there and go in under my eyes. I feel like this concealer is super, super pigmented. So I don't feel like I need much. I just want to brighten it up a little bit. I always feel so weird talking when I'm like looking up into nothing. <laughs> and then I'm going to set it with his powder. I think it says accomplice powder. I will show you in one second. This is so creamy. I don't want to give it like a second to crease, but yeah, this is the accomplice powder in the shade 50. I'm not even going to try to say that, but I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye real quick. Okay, now that we have our under eyes set, I'm going to go in with another shade of the same powder, and this is actually really cool. It has this little brush that, like, slips out of it, so if you want to, like, keep it in your bag or whatever, it's, like, a very easy touch-up powder, but this is in the shade 52 Siren, so the other one is in the shade 50, and this is 52, and this is just a tiny bit deeper. And before this video, I've always used this powder to set my face, and I absolutely love it. I'm not the biggest fan for under my eyes. Like, I found other things that I prefer, 
but it's definitely not a bad under eye setting powder at all and you know you get like a good bit of product and I have killed this one if you can't tell I think now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and my eyes and then we will finish off my face in just a little bit so I'm going to grab the new mm, brow wow duo I got this in medium brown which might be a little bit dark and this does not have a spoolie so I need to grab one of those real quick right. I'm going to brush through my brows and then I'm just going to fill them in with the pencil side and then throw some of the gel into them. Okay, so this is a very creamy brow pencil, so it's hard to be like as precise as like if you were using like a Benefit Precisely My Brow or like an ABH Brow Wiz kind of thing but it does fill it in really well and the front of my brows don't look like messy like they can if you know what I mean so let's run some of this gel through them I mean so far it looks good and it stuck my brows down so that's all I can really ask for I guess we'll have to see how it wears but I'm gonna do this brow real quick and then we will get on to the eyeshadow palette Let's get on to the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to do this look. This is what the inside looks like and it is just like a gorgeous gold like masterpiece. So first I'm just going to put this down as kind of like a all over lid and crease shade so everything blends well on top. <laughs> put that white shade down all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone honestly. <laughs> So even though this does have stunning shimmers, it really only gives you this kind of transition shade to work with. And then I just went right in with the black when I played with this yesterday. So that's what I'm going to be doing again. So we're going to put this in my crease and then next I'll be picking up the black. Now that we have that laid down, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is the small shadow brush. I'm going to go into this black shade, and of course I'm going to do a halo eye. So I'm going to start patting at the outer corner. Okay, so I just finished up this eye, and now this eye is watering like a son of a bitch, and it will not stop. So if you see like that little piece of like skin-colored eye right there, that's because I've been wiping it so much. So I don't know what's going on. I think like the bright light is just like in my eyes. But I went ahead and put some of this eyeliner. This is in the shade Glitter Sweet, and it is this gorgeous kind of bronzy it's like a bronzy taupe color i don't know i'm just obsessed with it so we're gonna put it in this eye if it'll be there in like five seconds i really don't know because i'm a watery mess so but it looks so so pretty And yes, I know I'm not supposed to like pull my eye down and do that with the shadow or the eyeliner and all that. I know, but it's so hard not to and that's just how I get it in my waterline. So I'm going to go in with this brown shade and just kind of smudge that along my lower lash line to give it a little bit of something else so it's not just that liner. I love this grungy look right now. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm such a fan. So now let's go in with this new At Lashed Marc Jacobs Mascara. This is two coats on the side, and I will show you one coat and then two coats on the side. <laughs> Alright, so this is just one coat of it, which looks good, but with this kind of eye look, I definitely need something more. So I'm going to layer up another coat, and that just looks perfect to me. And I feel like this is, like, the look that I really need to tight... <laughs> I really need to tight line my upper waterline with, like, a good black eyeliner. But with the way my eyes are watering, that is never going to stay put. So, usually I would definitely do that and it would make this whole look really come together, I think. But for now, this will do. And the damn air just came on again. Alright, now this is two coats. And I'm not sure if you can really see that much of a difference like this. But, like, 
the difference between one coat and two coats is insane and if you layer it up to three it can look like you're wearing like false lashes but it can also get a little bit clumpy so i really like where we are at right now i would also love to do it on my lower lashes but i we're not gonna try it today too watery which i'm so pissed about all right now let's go in with some face stuff and finish this look up I, my voice just like squeaked like a 14 year old boy. Let's finish this look up. I'm gonna use my tantric bronzer today. I can't talk, I can't talk and my eyes will stop watering. I'm I'm a mess, like guys, I'm such a mess. But this is the tantric. Um, I also love the, what is it, Tantastic, the big white one. That one is so, so good too. I was just using it the other day and now it's like gone missing, but I did find my macchiato Fenty bronzer. So, you know, you gotta give and take. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my big fluffy bronzer brush and I'm really really gonna bronze up today because I don't really have a blush I have kind of like a blushy toned highlighter, but I don't have like a true blush from Marc Jacobs So this is the only kind of color my skin is going to be getting And I love this bronzer so so much Okay, so for the kind of like blushy toned highlighter thing that I have, this is 82 Jet Girl. It's an Omega Glaze, and I think this was limited edition because of the packaging, but it shows up a little bit more gold on camera. It's kind of just like a rosy gold, so I kind of just want to take this very, very lightly and swirl it on my cheeks, and I think this will be kind of just a glowy look. I'm going to take my Morphe fo what? I'm gonna take my Morphe 405 and like barely dip in, get it off of there, and then kind of just put that right on the apples of my cheeks. I think this gives just enough color while still being very, very glowy, but it's a very pretty. I would usually use this as a cheek topper, and I have, but I didn't want to break the rules, so very pretty. Then for highlighter, I'm not sure which one I want to go with. I have these two. The first one is 80 worth the weight, and it is like an icy, gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. And then this one is 81 Showstopper, and it is just a little more golden. Like if you put them up beside each other, this one's definitely more white than this one. Um, we might, we might mix them. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna grab my Real Techniques setting brush and kind of just go between the two. I grabbed a little bit more of that more white shade and we're going to put that right on the top of my cheekbones. I don't know why I just said it like that, but oh, these are so good. Mm. So I don't have any kind of like setting spray or anything from Marc Jacobs, but my skin looks pretty good. I love the powder. I really like that concealer for kind of like a contoury bronzy thing. I'm not loving the foundation, but not sure about the under eye concealer. So still a little, I don't know, mm -mm, a little cakey up under the eyes, I think. But everything but that is so pretty. Now let's throw some lips on and we will be done. I have a couple of liners, a couple of lipsticks and a couple of glosses <laughs> for liners we have honey bun which is this really pretty pink and then cream and sugar which i think i'm gonna end up going with because i also have a cream and sugar little mini lipstick which i really want to use but we also have sugar high which is just a little bit deeper and it goes with the other liner a little bit better and then we have three glosses this one is from the same limited limited edition like line that the highlighter it was from it is genie kiss and it's the enamored glosses so this one's really pretty but i don't think it's going to go with my eye look it's a little too like purpley then i have these two little baby glosses and this one is in they're the same little thing so it's in sugar high and then this was in cream and sugar so we're going to go in with the cream and sugar liner first then the lipstick and then the gloss <laughs> Thank you. 
this is such a good oh i really just cannot talk <laughs> this really is such a good like light nude color i haven't worn it in a little while but like i remember how much i loved it mm, it's like a good pinky nude I just love this color and I cannot believe I almost forgot about highlighting the inner corner. I was so excited about that. I want to take this lightest shade here and I'm going to take that on the little smudger brush and throw that in my inner corner for a little pop. Oh yeah. That just like makes the entire eye look for me. <laughs> okay. Now we have the inner corner highlighted and we can add some gloss and finish this whole look up. All right, let's throw this gloss on. Mm, so pretty, it smells so good. Just right on the middle there. I'm so happy with this look. I think these are beginning to be one of like my favorite videos to film. I'm loving doing like a full face of the Charlotte Tilbury, the Marc Jacobs, um, I know I said in the last video, I think I have a full face of Fenty, I have a full face of Benefit, I have a full face of... I almost have a full face of Ilya, but like Kosas and Ilya put together I have a full face of. I have a full face of Too Faced, full face of Tarte. Um, God. <laughs> what else? Like, really? If you want to see a full face of it, I could very very possibly have it so definitely let me know down in the comments below and if you do enjoy these kind of videos make sure to thumbs up and subscribe it helps me out a lot and i would love for you to stick around and keep watching my videos so on that note i think that is everything i really love this eyeshadow palette i think it's so gorgeous and this look is a little bit different than the one i came up with last night so i think that's really cool too and i don't know i'm excited i love the mascara so much the eyeliner is gorgeous and Mar Jacobs is just a beautiful brand. I think the only thing I'm not super, super sold on is the foundation, and I'm not sure about the under eye concealer, but, you know, I'd have to kind of play around with them with some of my favorite stuff and get to know them a little bit more, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, that is it. I will see you on the next video. I hope you're having a great day, night, evening, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye.